Well, good morning. Uh, after a couple of days, I've started to review homework assignments and also some replies to the discussion board. Uh, in fire protection, it's uh, interesting to see some of the dynamics that comes about. One of the big things that I see that we need to look at constantly is the changing in the environment, uh, what's going on in buildings and what type of fire suppression systems are going to be put in place. As this course moves forward, there's a couple of things you have to look at. Uh, the chapter work is just chapter work, but the big reading assignments that you have and some of the case studies all have an impact on where the future of the fire service is going. So what you need to do and I need to do is start looking at how these things all come together. We need spirit of dialogue and we also need to understand what's it going to do for us. What's in it for us as far as fire protection goes and for the fire service. Um, too many times things are shortcutted, so we got to be careful about those. So I would look at it in your community right now. This is an assignment that I reach out to all of you to do. Start looking at a building that's going up. If it's got a sprinkler system in it, see what kind of, talk to your plan review uh, person on the fire department or the uh, city hall and see what kind of shortcuts they want to take in fire protection. It'll be interesting. They, the shortcuts they have at some time or another cost everybody money and also can cost a life. If you have any questions, by all means, reach out to me through my email, yetter, J-E-T-T-E-R-B-J, at cincinci.com. Thank you.